Hey, welcome to the video on translation. So what are translations? Essentially, a translation is simply the movement of a 2D object in a plane where we don't uh, change the orientation of the shape. So I could move the shape down, I can move the shape to the right, I can move the shape up, but you notice that I'm not actually changing the orientation. So I'm not, uh, I'm not changing the shape at all, I'm not stretching it out. I'm also not uh, rotating the shape in, in, in any way, okay? I'm not changing the dimensions of the shape, okay? So it's the same shape, uh, but I'm not changing the orientation of the shape. So I'm not flipping it around like so. So how are translations defined? Well, uh, one way we can define a translation is using words. So we can say, for example, translate triangle ABC, three units right and four units down. So over on the left here, I have triangle ABC, and it's on a coordinate plane, and you can see the coordinates are, are listed here. So in order to translate this triangle three units to the right and four units down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at each vertex. So let's start at vertex C here, and I'm going to count one, two, three to the right, and then four down. One, two, three, four. And so this is going to be my new C, and we're going to call that C prime. And all I need to do with a polygon is do that with each corner, each vertex. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing with B. One, two, three, three units to the right, and one, two, three, four units down. So this will be my new B. We're going to call that B prime. And same thing with A, one, two, three to the right, and one, two, three, four down. I'll draw that. This will be my A prime. And then I just have to reconnect the dots to create my shape. So what I have here, there is my translated triangle, A prime, B prime, C prime. Let's do another example. identify the following translation here. So we, what we have here in this case is we already have a translation. We want to know, well, what was done? Well, the same rule is going to apply to each um, vertex, each corner of the original polygon. So I have my original polygon here, A, B, C, D. And so if I simply look at the shift to the right or left and up or down between, say, C and C prime, this should give us the translation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count here, one, two, three, four, and I can see that lines up here. So that means I went four right. And let's see how far down it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down. It's got four right and eight down. Now this isn't the only way I can uh, write this. So I could say, well, my translation is four right or eight down. I could also write this in um, ordered pair notation and simply say, well, my translation was plus four minus eight. So remember with ordered pairs, the first number indicates the position right or left. And since we're going right, that's positive. And the second number indicates that where we're going up or down and because down is negative, this is negative eight. I could also write this in a different notation where I say, for example, for each point x, y, my translation is going to be defined as x plus 4, meaning add 4 to the x coordinate, and y minus 8, meaning take 8 away from uh, the y coordinate. So here's three different types of notation that we can use. We use words or ordered pairs or this type of notation here. So let's go over an example where maybe we're asked using a different notation to perform a translation. Translation x, y to x plus 5, y minus 2. So I have a polygon a, b, c, d here in my translation. Here it wants me to add 5 to the x coordinates and, or subtract 2 uh, from the y coordinates. Now, the easiest way to do this is actually just to move to the right five. This would mean right five, right? It's the same thing as moving right five. And this would be the same thing as moving down 
2. So let's start with A. We're going to go right 5. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right, and 2 down, 1, 2. So here would be our new A. We'll call it A prime. For B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right, down 2, 1, 2. Here would be our new B prime, our new B. C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 2 down, 1, 2. So here is our new C, we'll call it C prime. And for D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 down, 1, 2. Here's our new D, we'll call that D prime. And then we just have to connect our vertices as best we can. All right, one more example. So using this notation, translation negative 1, negative 5. And, and you know what it looks like? I'm actually going to go off the map here. So I'll tell you what. Let's change this one to become... We're going to change this one. We're going to say negative 5, negative 1. Otherwise, I'm going to wind up going off the coordinate grid. So we're going to change this example here. So what does this mean? This means I'm going to go left 5 because it's negative. Remember, the first coordinate represents left or right. So I'm going to go left 5. And then this one means I'm going to go down 1. So starting with A, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then down 1. This will be our new A. We'll call it A prime. For B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down 1. This will be our new B. We'll call it B prime. And for C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down 1. This will be our new C. We'll call this C prime. And finally, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down 1. There we have our new D prime. And we connect our vertices. And there we have a translation.